where you'll need the computer tape specifying the updated navigational realignment procedures. You two stay here. I'll get them. Commander? Mr. Leslie? Did you hear? Biology section is conducting a scan of the planet below for any specimens of life capable of achieving orbit under their own power. Space bats? They shouldn't bother. It's a waste of time and resources. We'll never find a space bat. They're impossible. Theoretically, there could be naturally evolving life forms that are capable of flying out of planetary gravity and into space. I don't know about that, but they've never found a single specimen and they never will. Is that so? Well, that's too bad then. Excuse me, gentlemen. I couldn't help overhearing. Yes, sir? The reasoning you are employing, Mr. Sulu, is not logical. In fact, you are exhibiting the fallacy of the Black Swan. His argument seemed to make sense. That may be so, but the form of the argument is invalid. The Black Swan fallacy is the tendency of people to believe that things they've never witnessed don't exist. It is also the tendency to ignore evidence that contradicts their beliefs and assumptions. That is, not believing in a black swan, even if compelling evidence indicates it. This is sometimes stated as absence of evidence is evidence of absence, which is not valid. A total lack of empirical evidence of something does not rule out the existence of that thing. The name of this fallacy comes from Earth, on which the existence of black waterfowl, called swans, was for millennia thought to be impossible, until about 600 years ago, when a Dutch explorer discovered black swans in Australia. That is not to say that everything that has no evidence may turn out to exist, but in order to think rationally, we must cultivate an empirical skepticism, that is, a skepticism steeped in fact and observation, and also remain vigilant against the innately human tendencies that leave one vulnerable to being surprised by black swans. Thank you, Mr. Spock. Yes, I should rethink what I'm trying to say. That would be best. Even if an argument seems to make sense, it cannot be valid unless the form is valid, and that it does not exhibit one of the logical fallacies such as the black swan fallacy. It's only logical. 